The following is brought to you in part by System Blue. Products, events. It's June 12th, and uh, today is our last day of Mars, which is this beautiful field that we chill at for about a month to learn our show, to get the whole production together, and get everybody on the same page. We're gonna pop it up on one, and then turn front field on those one, that one, two, three. Does that make sense? Right, right. Yeah. Top of the closer! It just feels <coughs> quick, because we kind of just got here. Last year, my birthday was on family day when I got to put on the uniform for the first time. That was sweet. But this year, it's like kind of sentimental saying bye to youngness and bye to Mars <laughs> at the same time. This is our last run through at Mars though, which is, for me, that's, that's a really sad thing because this has been like my life for three years. Just in this last block, give all of us everything you have um, because it's, it's really for me, it's really for Kevin, but ultimately it's also for you and all the rest of the Egypts that are on the field. This, this field is rough, but this is a really, really special place. And when I think about how many Blue Devil shows have been performed on this terrible, dusty field, I'm like really, really overwhelmed. Jeff, happy last round, Mars. Happy last round. 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 Mars, after all these years, uh, it's kind of become a second home uh, for me. Uh, just it feels like you know, going away on a long trip in the off season, and once the season picks back up again, you know, it's like coming back home from that. And Buddha was booted. It's sad being an age out. Like I'm not, I'm not ready to age out, and it's not going to hit me until finals probably or after finals. But it's kind of hitting me now that it, this is the last day on Mars, and it's going to be sad. I'm going to miss it a lot. Yeah, it's like hitting that it's like actually the last day for me as a marching member to ever be on this field again. So it's, it's kind of tough for me. This year we are doing As Dreams Are Made On, based on William Shakespeare's The Tempest. As usual, Scott Chandler has done an amazing job taking an idea and developing it into a very unique and amazing production for the field. We take a look at The Tempest and how to bring the major elements onto a football field and into the arena. The musical flow is really character-based. You'll see everybody has their own, their own little section and one thing leads to another uh, according to the characters and the music. The first character you're kind of introduced to is Prospero. We really set the scene with this kind of horrific storm. The storm at the beginning of which opens the play The Tempest is the motivation and our introduction into what the story is all about. We use the, the setting of water and storms and turbulence as main themes throughout the show to inspire us. We almost have no straight lines in the show on purpose. 
you know, because everything should feel really fluid. We do lots and lots of sequential, lots of curl curvilinear pathways, really trying to take the edges off things that might make, might make forms feel foreign in a show that's supposed to be based on water. Our second production, we're calling it Caliban. Caliban is one of the uh, very unique characters in The Tempest. As we thought about how to interpret, how to explain Caliban, modern um, production from a music standpoint and modern dance music seem to speak uh, as a way to get a new perspective on who Caliban is. It's an amazing combination of hip hop dancing, uh, great electronic music, live performance with some incredible battery writing. So that dance party is certainly very different than what we've done in the past because the character is so different. But it was ripe and very potent for uh, a modern interpretation. For the ballad section this year, we're referring to it as Ferdinand and Miranda. One of my favorite parts of the ballad this year is an amazing pit moment composed by Jim Wunderlich that is staged with this incredible guard dance in the center of the field. That works its way into a beautiful build by the brass section, and then to a moment that's kind of become very trademark of the Blue Doubles in the last couple years, which is a very emotional and communicating ballad with an incredible impact at the end. The end of the show is gonna bring us to a sense of conclusion with Prospero again, um, offering up his sense of forgiveness for all the people that have wronged him. And he has a choice to take revenge or to move forward and to be able to release all that inner turmoil and conflict. Dave Glyde did a great job of taking a lot of the different themes throughout the show, introducing a couple of new ones, and I think it really ties the whole show together well. Stories of Shakespeare, the morality, the way that the stories work, the way the characters in interact with each other, they're all timeless qualities that we've seen in every form of storytelling throughout history. So Shakespeare is classic in that way. Now, to bring it into our form of drum corps um, creates a real sense of theater in our environment and on a football field, a hundred yards of theater. That's what we are now. So this year, um, the Blue Devils will be utilizing the new system of drums. For about nine years, Scott and a couple other people in System Blue have been designing these new drums. So it's a total revamp of everything we were previously using. Most of the drum is composed of just carbon fiber, which is a really sleek look, and it reduces the weight a, a lot. I think the biggest surprise that we've had and we've heard the staff talk about is the separation of the voices. They are a lot louder and they cut through the ensemble a lot better. Super light, they're super comfortable, and they sound awesome. Today is Saturday, June 18th, and we are here in Pittsburgh, California at Los Padanos College, and today is our annual family day. We have the A core, the B core, and the C core. We're all together, obviously, because we're all one big family. One, two, three. It's called family day for a reason, because they are like our like older our brothers and sisters. You may not know someone on a personal level, but you will always have a special relationship and a special bond with every single person on that field. We're gonna find our buddies. I know I have to find mine. But you shall have your names and then like a little gift or a little card or something. And just kind of get to know each other, ask questions, find out where you're from, and then exchange gifts and see what you guys got. Every year, the A core, the B core, and the C core um, give gifts to each other for the mass pit. We just get us get each other just something small but thoughtful. For 
the C chord, seeing the A chord and the B chord, it kind of gives us like hope and a goal to, you know, you want us to, we, the C chord, we want to get that good. You know, watching the A chord and the B chord, it really puts a smile on our face and makes us um, set a goal for ourselves. Like you get inspired by everyone else, how they, how they perform in like any section. And you're the first one to watch their show. Yeah. 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 They think that we're making a difference in their lives, but by them joining and wanting to continue with this activity and make it so much stronger than it has been in the previous years, they're really changing my perspective on this activity. When I was in the B Corps, I remember looking up at the older faces and thinking that they were impossibly far away and thinking that, you know, with their beards and their earrings, that they were all adults and they were grown up. And I guess this year was sort of a coming of age, seeing the younger people coming up and seeing them become a part of the experience and the part of the Blue Devils, it's it's just giving me chills right now. Alrighty. Next week on Inside BD 360. They showed us the uniforms and we got them. I was, it was kind of like a dream come true because I've been dreaming about this since 2012. Really excited about him. I think I think the whole drum corps is pretty stoked right now.